Alright, I believe this is working. I just had a... Uh, made a whole... Um, voiceover, but it will not be able to be one video, so... Let's just go ahead and start this. Um, hello professor, hello class. Uh, I will be showing you my Pong project. Let's hello. Okay. <laughs> See, I already had did, done that, but all right. So the description. Um, this will be a two-dimensional game, and it's it's being used in Raspberry Pi, but the main workhorse is called Pi Game. It's like a module where you will write your code inside Pi Game. So don't mind those notifications. But um yeah, if you do not have Pi Game installed, you must have it installed for this to work. But there are other um uh, other softwares that you can use other than Pi Game, but for beginners, I feel like Pi Game is number 1. And uh, my scope for this project was to actually write the code, make the make the game with no to minimal help. Um, I want to be proficient. Uh, I want to be able to write code and understand what I'm writing. Let's go ahead and close this. All right. Now, what software and or hardware did I need? To create this well um, I need to have the Raspberry Pi 3 firstly all uh, nice and um, kitted up I need it uh, I need the whole Raspberry Pi to be functioning order with all of the modules and uh, respective uh, segments of the Raspberry Pi there <clears throat> meaning I need the motherboard I need the case I need the US micro USB power I need a HDMI to connect it with the monitor I need uh, that's that's all I need the wireless is built in you have an option to put in a LAN cable but wireless is built in so those are some of the hardware and um, more hardware you would need is the keyboard the mouse the actual monitor you need to be able to to interface with the operating system so you would be using all those and I used uh, the Raspberry Pi operating system that was already installed and then I installed Pygame from the terminal so yeah and yep all right so I must download I I was thinking about just playing this so the procedure um first like i said you have to get high game and it's not no easy task you're gonna have to interface with your raspberry pi and write the code that's whatever i'll just uh go over it so um yeah so the procedure First, you have to have your Raspberry Pi 3 in working order. Once that is accomplished, you must connect the hardware, the monitor. You must be able to interface and write the code, which will be done by the keyboard. Um, next, once you have everything in place, you must download Pi Game. So I would suggest you go to the terminal and do the command sudo apt-get pygame uh, it should work and uh, download then you would go to the idle for python 3 um, I think it's python 5 point something you can use the idle 2 as well 
and then you type in the command um, import and then import and then it, it, it then the module is now in your Raspberry Pi now you can write the code so now you write all the code and hit F5 and if you have done everything correctly boom the game should start up um, yeah so here you can see mine uh, you can see the ball actually moving this was mid frame that's pretty cool huh the balls going fast um, these two uh, wall pong thingies on each side are controllable by arrow keys or the WS so the one on the left I programmed to be controlled by the W and S keys and then the one on the right is controlled by my arrow keys and um, yeah the results turned out pretty cool it, it works and it works nice Here's a cool little snippet of my code in which I programmed the up and down. See, so you can see here how uh, how there's like a cool little pattern, like math, like anything. There's always like a pattern. That's one thing I I learned uh, that I got to learn is that it's. A lot of uh, it might look like gibberish but there's always a pattern to coding and um, it's pretty tough man the, the to, to get this working like took me a couple tries and I, I didn't even know what I was doing until I actually you know like read and learned what these little things mean like d p u underscore p like it's it's pretty it's pretty intense but once you get the hang of the rhythm and formulas and what you're actually doing then it becomes 10 times easier now so, so what are some what are some of the hurdles or obstacles i faced um, I face many actually, uh, one of them being syntax errors, you know, like, I, I didn't understand why, um, a particular, uh, code wasn't working, but then when I digged in and realized, and you know, just, uh, I just worked on the issue I then realized that I wasn't formatting it correctly so that was like what really I had pressed backspace and then one of my codes was not where it should have been I guess it was all the way to the left hand side of the screen and then when I hit F5 it wouldn't work so I was like why is this even a thing but then you know formatting is crucial so I guess Python won't read it if you don't have it on right so when I just pressed enter boom the same code it worked it's just the formatting was wrong what did I learn um, I'm not gonna lie this was very very uh, and it was uh i guess you can say it was uh all not awe inspiring but i learned a lot it was informal you know uh this this project really made me think and really made me uh realize that there's a lot of stuff that I don't know <laughs> like um, learning about int integers floats you know and the fact that comments can be read to humans by using the hashtag or pound sy symbol before whatever you write will not affect the code 
uh, I learned those I learned to revise because a lot of times my code would be wrong and I would have to revise so I learned how to do that uh, I learned formatting as I stated earlier I, one whole row of code went to went bad because um, the formatting was wrong so properly formatting properly using the code the value of integers the hashtag symbol float slope learned all those oh yeah pi game so yeah this game this uh project will not have worked without pi game and it took me quite a while to figure out you can actually use because I was using a pip install and obviously that's for Windows and I was like why is it not working but then I realized that you can just download it from the terminal in Python or in Raspberry Pi so that's what I did and fortunately it worked I got the uh, command sudo apt get pi game install and it worked and then I went to the the idle and from idle I imported it and it showed up what are my thoughts well this was a wonderful project actually it really taught me a lot and it taught me how to fail it taught me how to get back up and revise and it taught me the meaning of code you know like how it's made why why is there underscores why is there all these things it really puzzled me at first you know but when the formulas when you when you realize you know like okay this is a formula and i'm talking to python it gets better for sure but yeah i think my thoughts are is this is not simple and this is like pretty pretty challenging which is awesome so all right here's my references and uh thank you class thank you professor uh take care have a good day